Hello, and welcome to our Zoom session on how to write comments on someone else's work. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so you can see exactly how to do this in Google Docs. Okay, hold on for a second while I share the screen. Just a second. All right. So you can see that I have opened up my Google Docs and here I have Paige's story. So I am going to be showing you today what to do when you are reading your friend's story. So the first thing that you would do is just go ahead and read the story. So I'm going to read Paige's story out loud. It's a little mistake by Paige. Nay! My head was pounding with sounds of horses, and I couldn't sleep. It's just a dream, I told myself. It's just a dream. That's when I realized it wasn't a dream. Horse noises thumped inside and out of my head. I was dizzy and tired. The nuisance from the horses went on for a couple of minutes, and then there was silence. The horses, I thought. Something had happened to them. I ran out of my house. Yet to see the beautiful stars shining over the rancho reminded me of my morning rides as a vaquero with my horse, Twilight. Wait, the horses, I remembered, and sprinted over to the stables. I looked inside and my heart skipped a beat. I fell to my knees in sadness and horror. The horses were gone. I had to do something. I had to be brave. I ran around the stables screaming Twilight's name and every other horse I knew the name of. I couldn't find them and it was getting dark, but I couldn't give up now. I had to keep trying. I gathered a group of people to help me find the horses. We searched all over the rancho. It was no use. I started to cry. I looked up at every guava tree in every yard, sparkling with the smile I had when I rode twilight. I needed to find them. I ran into the forest, my heart pounding. I knew I shouldn't have run off like that, but I was too sad to think about my actions. I sat in the forest crying. I was lost. And just when I thought I was out of luck, I heard a familiar sound of footsteps nearby, and I listened to the sound of rushing water. Wait a second, that wasn't footsteps. It was twilight. All of a sudden, my wonderful horse popped out of the forest and warmed my heart when I saw her. I hugged her and she started leading me to the other horses. They were all by the river drinking water. They must have not been given enough water when they came back from rides. I now understood and I brought the horses back and explained everything to the rancho workers that had helped me. We vowed to give them more water and I vowed to myself that I would never make a mistake like this again because I just started to love the horses more. Okay, great job, Paige. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be writing three comments on your friend's story. And we're gonna be using sentence frames like, this part reminded me of, or your sentence helped me visualize, or, I enjoyed this part because. So thinking about that, I am gonna kind of look through Paige's writing, scanning it, and I really like the way that Paige started her writing. It made me intrigued right away with the sound of nay and her thinking it was a dream, but it really wasn't. Um, and I like the way that Paige really built up the, um, anticipation of the problem. I could really feel that it was a big problem. So I'm going to go back to the, her second paragraph when she says, wait the horses. I sprinted to the stables. I looked inside and my heart skipped a beat. So that tells me without her saying I was worried that she was really worried because her heart skipped to a beat and she fell to her knees in sadness and horror. So I'm, I want to make a comment on that. So what you're gonna do is the part that you want to make a comment on, the first thing you're gonna do is select it. So I'm gonna highlight, um, wait, 
The horses, I remembered, and sprinted over to the stables. I looked inside and my heart skipped a beat. I fell to my knees in sadness and horror. The, horse, the horses were gone. I had to do something. I had to be brave. Okay, so it's highlighted. And right away when you highlight it, this little plus sign comes up. And you can see when I hover over it that I can add a comment. So I'm just going to click on that. And now I can write a comment there. And I'm going to say, your, your, I'm going to say this part, instead of your sentence, because it's several sentences, this part really helped me see how scared oops, you were and I could tell that you were a responsible horse owner. So those are my thoughts. And then you just hit the word comment. So when Paige opens this up next, she is going to see this comment. Now, as her teacher, I could have said something like, um, oh, Paige, remember when you're using quotation marks, to put your punctuation inside the quotation mark. Now, she did do that, but if I had made a comment like that where I wanted her to fix something, she can type this resolve button, and then I will know that she went and fixed it. Now, you can also respond to a comment. So if you click that there, well, actually, we'll go back to that in just a second. Let's finish commenting first. Okay, so there's one comment. And then I want to maybe say something about visualizing because she has a lot of details in here that really let me see where she was. I think I'm going to go down to the part where she's in the forest. Um, let's see. Okay, this part. Um, I ran into the forest, my heart pounding. I knew I shouldn't have run off like that. I sat in the forest crying. I was lost. And just when I thought I was out of luck, I heard a familiar sound of footsteps and the sound of rushing water. So when I read this part, I could really picture someone alone amongst a lot of trees. And I knew she was scared because she was crying. And I could absolutely visualize being in the forest, hearing the rushing water. So this part really let me see her character. So I am gonna, again, select this part. And then if you can remember what to do, you just hit the plus sign and you write your comment. And you could say this part really helped me visualize your character in the forest. And then I just hit comment. And so just like that, that's all you have to do to comment. So what we're going to do is everyone is going to get someone else's name and you will share your writing with that person and that person is going to leave you three positive comments. And then you will get to open up your own writing and see what people had to say about your writing, which is pretty nifty. All right. Thanks for listening.